Hello fellow RC addicts, in this episode, I've shaved my beard. Oh no, that's not it. We're going to do some trail runs with the scalers. I'm going to show you a Traxxas Summit, some more speed runs with the twin hammers, we rescue a frog from a snake, and we get our first taste of drifting. It's going to start a new addiction, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is the uh, Wraith with the two-speed, but he upgraded the motor. Yeah, put a 13.5 Tekken in it. <laughs> that's, my, that's my gear. And that's the, <laughs> that's the stock grip saw, so that's not my weighted rim. I want to see that out across the yard. <laughs> that thing goes. <laughs> Holy crap! He's got to run to catch it. <laughs> He's trying. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter, Duncan? Are you too slow? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm out here with Jason. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and Dave. Say hi. <laughs> We're gonna go trail run. We've been down this trail before. You've I seen it. You this is. Yeah, there was snow when we went that one time. Josh and I have done it. Jason and I have done it. Dave's bringing his uh, two-speed wraith, and uh, I've got the tundra. I think I fixed whatever fell apart on it last time. You hope. Yeah, still isn't clean yet, but hey, whatever. That was from your trip in Ohio, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, up in Mentor, I ran that. So. Jason's a newbie. He has to learn how to get up on here. He's that rock. There you got it. Yep. Now you kind of got to walk it over. Yep, there you go. Yeah, but then if you kind of gun it and work it back and forth a little bit, it, mine went. Uh, maybe he's not getting a bite. <laughs> oh, it's starting to grab. Oh, so close. Go ahead, Dave. Dave's going to try here. That ought to be easy enough to do with the with the rake. Yeah. Yeah, that longer wheelbase <laughs> and the snot. 13.5, <laughs> buddy, 13.5. Like nothing with that thing. <laughs> Jason dropped a drive shaft. Jason did. You did it the first time. Of course, I turned the camera on, and that's just like me running into a wall. You turn the camera on, and you can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> nice. That's got to be annoying. Oh, you still got your battery pack mounted in the back, too. Yeah, well, I gotta get the CKRC plate glued. Yeah, my battery, you know what? I thought about my battery. Yeah, that was screwed up. <laughs> nice! <laughs> That's an eye gear. I was just trying to see what he did. That's awesome. Jason has dropped two drive shafts. He's got no go no more. How many of you remember this big rock when Jason and I were down here and it was snowing? and I could barely get up that ledge. There we got it. 
I had to work it over to the low side, apparently. Jason blows two drive shafts, then Dave strips out a servo. That's it. We're done. Back to the parking lot. Short run. Boring. Oh well. My truck was fine. I don't, I don't know what their problems are. It's stuck going one way, isn't it? Oh, well, there it goes. <laughs> He's making another right turn. You look like my dog. He blew a servo, that's why he could only go in one way in the dirt. I really think Dave should have written his name, but he could only go one way because his servo's broke. <laughs> this just arrived here. I'm checking it out before it turns around and gets resold. It's a Traxxas Summit. It's the first time I've ever seen one, and it is huge. Look at that wheel, it's as big as my hand. Ah, it's massive. This one didn't have any speed control in it. So just to make sure everything worked, I threw the pulse in there, which we know is glitchy from trying it before, and a sidewinder. Not really enough power, but it moved through the yard and in the garden a little bit. This is also the model that has the uh, Traxxas four-channel radio two-speed transmission and your little silver knob there on the end it's hard to do this one-handed anyway that lever right there selects the lockers this has selectable lockers with these servos to turn the front and rear diff locked or unlocked on it plus the two-speed transmission look at the shock travel though it's crazy you can drop it from clear up here. Ta-da! twin hammers with the uh, KV 6900 in it so it's retarded getting ready to go do a trail run with uh, with Dave and it's such a beautiful day and my truck is a pig with the gas mileage so I'm taking the motorcycle 
got my scaler loaded up in there. Plus, I got to deliver this. I'm selling off some of my stuff, and so that's got to go to the post office. So, let's go trail ride. All right, I made it out here to Goddard State Park. Gabe's with me, and uh, it was a good ride. <laughs> yep, hiding behind the camera for your, well, hiding behind the camera for Ryan right now. Nice. Oh, maybe I'll keep these off right out here. Yeah, it's a little sunny. Nice day yesterday, too. Sweet. Let's do some scaling. A little trail, a little trail running. Dave getting his backpack on, looking fetching in his RC attic shirt. <laughs> made, myself a little, made myself a little spare parts container last night, too, just in case. Yeah, I brought my little... Yeah, I brought I need it, but... I didn't bring spare parts, that's why I built a tough truck. Oh. <laughs> Close to all motor vehicles. No, just all vehicles. It doesn't even say motor. Do we count as an all-terrain vehicle? Anything says we have ticks. Do they consider this a motor vehicle? Driving through the pipe. You drop off and go with about a foot of water. Ready? <laughs> That's probably three foot of water. I don't think it's three feet, but it certainly isn't shallow enough for an RC car. Snake has got a bullfrog. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like a garter snake, doesn't it? Yeah, that's just a green snake. What's he doing trying to eat a bullfrog? Bullfrog tick him off? Snake, seriously. <laughs> I think that's a little too much for you to eat. Maybe I should rescue the bullfrog. <laughs> Grab the snake by the tail, he'll let go. Oh, that's deep hole. Crikey, look at the size of that Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> if he'd have tagged me, I'd be a goner for sure. Yeah, he's got half his foot swallowed. How's he going to eat the rest of them? Come on, frog, you can do it. The frog is like, come on, this sucks. He keeps swallowing. That foot's going further and further down his throat. Time now. He's like, no. Look at that. <laughs> Scarfing his trying to, trying to 
He wants frog's legs. Frog legs for dinner. Slipping. Go, Froggy, go. go. <laughs> well, we made a snake hungry and a frog happy. Listen to him squeal. Like, thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Snake's like, you jerk. I get back food. in the grass. Go, get back, go. Go find a mouse. Go, yeah, go find some bugs. Something that's your size. <laughs> Isn't science fun or gross? So, this is Jason. You've met him before. We are talking about drift cars, so he got one. It's a Red Cat Drifter. And I don't know if he knows how to drive it yet. <laughs> the driveway's got too big of a curve. Dave showed up and Jason had his new drifter out and uh, we moved inside where the dog couldn't bite it and the pavement's a little smoother inside the garage and all of us took turns trying out the drifter. Pretty sure this is going to lead to a new RC addiction. It's pretty fun. It's raining out so we're going to do some drifting so Dave has to work. Yeah. <laughs> I find this... I find this strangely odd. Anytime I show up to any of my friends' houses, I'm the one that picks the room up for help and wipe his car off from all the blood. <laughs> shove it out the door, man. Oh, you don't want me to shove it out the door? Okay. No, shove it out the door. I, right with all that sawdust out there. I don't care. Those the confetti's biodegradable. That's why we used it. There's a couple bits of crayon in there. Yeah, well, they'll smash in real good. Yeah. We're going to. Since Dave, since Dave swept, for, swept, Dave can run the, the, the drift car first. starting to get the hang of it after a few packs uh, I was able to get a nice good slide on it I'm definitely ordering one 
Uh, I don't think I'm going to go with a red cat, though. Uh, kind of was looking at, like, the Tamiya TT01 because there's a lot of options for it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should research more. Or maybe I'll just impulse buy like I always do. A lot of fun, anyway. New addiction, definitely. Join us next time as we go to a swap meet and we comp with the Tri-State Scale Outlaw guys and just generally have some fun camping. Sure. What is this episode about? <laughs>